first lecture on Tuesday. In our first lecture on Tuesday, we discussed the concept of neuroplasticity. In its simplest form, neuroplasticity has to do with how your brain is wired and the ability of the brain to actually rewire itself based upon experiences, either learning experiences or experiences based on some sort of physical or physiological trauma to the body. The two basic types of neuroplasticity that we will discuss are structural plasticity and functional plasticity. One of the examples given in class of structural plasticity had to do with just training yourself to get up earlier in the morning. You're accustomed to getting up at 7 o'clock, but then for a year, you set your alarm clock to get up at 5 a.m., and now, without even setting an alarm clock, you automatically wake up at 5 a.m. The brain has become rewired and reconditioned to getting up at that time. Functional plasticity, on the other hand, has to do with some sort of physical or physiological change that may have occurred in injuries, such as a stroke or an amputation of a limb, and now the body learns how to respond differently based upon the loss of neurons or nerve cells in that particular area of the body that is affected. This slide just basically gives us some basic science on what happens in the brain cells as they're trying to communicate and signal each other that we need to make an adjustment either because we've learned something new or there's been some sort of trauma or injury. Therefore, nerve cells need to respond differently. Structural neuroplasticity is basically a learning process, establishing a new habit, learning a new skill, training the body to do something that it may not normally do in terms of, say, getting up earlier or staying up later or walking further distances that you would normally walk based upon some disciplined regimen that you've established. actually has to do with the response of the body to some sort of physical or physiological trauma that it has experienced. So now the brain has to rewire itself because certain signals that were there are no longer there, and the brain actually has to adapt to the new signals that it is receiving or possibly not receiving. So our brain is not concretely wired in other words, there is that flexibility for us to learn and for new neural pathways to be developed based upon what our body is responding to. That response can be to a learned condition, behavior, or pattern, or it could be in response to some sort of trauma. But just know that our brain actually does have the capacity to expand and develop as we encounter different experiences in life.